Good afternoon, sports fans, and welcome to One Band Man Research and Development. I'm your host, Joe Hobbit, and today we're looking at mobile rigs, uh, specifically the Love Wagon, formerly Duplex, uh, my workstation on wheels, now shrunk down into one milk crate, and uh, it works in a hopefully a way that lets me have the maximal amount of leverage over what happens in my world of sound. So, we have a mixer in the back, a vertically mounted Samson mix pad. It's only good for four channels, but I can squeeze two more by using the auxiliary. And I'm using one channel to send my guitar from my foot pedals on the ground. That's a little yonder. And I'm using one pedal so that I can actually have a real MIDI device, an analog synth which is a monophonic Novation bass station. And I can make that work from any MIDI keyboard. And get some nice fat sounds like that. Uh, and the nice thing about it is you also got knobs. So... You get all that cool MIDI, real analog type knob twiddle and stuff that you can use. I like it for bass, uh, bass runs mostly. So this 19-inch rack unit fits perfectly into this large size milk crate, which is a great reason to use them. They have depth, they're well ventilated, uh, and they have all these great little grid areas that you can tie things onto. And everything here, uh, essentially, is either held in by gravity and pressure or by plastic uh, twist ties. So we've got cable, plastic cable ties holding the board on and then the MIDI unit I just drilled some holes into the plastic and screwed it in like any other rack. Um, down here the first floor actually which you can't see too well maybe I'll take this out of here and then lift it up Sorry, MIDI devices. I have to unplug that. If I lift it up a little bit. You can probably see that underneath this bad boy, yeah, here, is a computer interface. That acts as a master volume if I wanted to, so that everything goes to that. Um, if I want to use my laptop, there's a firewire cable coming out of it which is sitting over here with the uh, main outputs coming from that board. So, the way that the rig works in terms of signal flow is the MIDI unit, the guitar signal, and anything else that I want to put on into the auxiliary inputs go into the mixing board. They then come out to the K-oscillator and the reason I do that instead of having the chaos oscillator go to the board is I want to be able to catch and loop everything. So the chaos oscillator can create loops, but it can also grab anything coming through the board so that I can uh, record it. And then the chaos oscillator goes to the chaos pad. It's a little different rig than I used to have. I used to have the chaos oscillator go to the board and come back through the chaos. But now, it's a better system because I can grab things that the chaos later is uh, built to handle loops more than the chaos pad is. Uh, I find it more convenient to work with too. And as an instrument, I can combine everything there. So, um, yeah, after the chaos pad, where I get to morph <laughs> signals and do funny things to them, um, the signal will then come to the interface. So any looping stuff that happens can go to the computer and be recorded. Um, from the interface, they then go down to my foot pedals. Not the guitar stuff, which is coming into the board, but the looping section of the foot pedals. And uh, that way I can grab, because I find it way easier to create loops with my foot on the ground nowadays than I do trying to grab them um, using 
the Korg devices. And that's only because the Korg devices insist that you do it at a certain number of beats and a certain BPM. You kind of end up being pushed into that world, but... Yeah. So, what else we got? Um, the extra input here can be used for something like an iPad. By any means necessary. That's exactly right. So... all are familiar all our familiar apps that we like and love and uh, we can eat so I just recorded from the iPad onto the K oscillator and now I can along with it, I can add things. four quick loops in there and uh, now the K oscillator has my little rhythm track from the, the uh, iPad it's got one of its own bass tracks that I can pop in there right? and then it's got a pair of these whatever the heck that thing is I like it I don't have to know what it is when I like it so uh, now the other cool thing is I'll go back to my uh, iPad and play along if I so desire. Maybe bring up a slightly more interesting app. All 
whole new mm, single story love wagon. The love barge. More man man research and development. We'll see you out there. By any means necessary.